Hello my friends, uh, in this video I am going to teach you what we need to include in the summary section of our data file. So basically summary, in the summary section, section we are telling the Eclipse that what kind of outputs we are expecting to see from our simulation. For example, if you've done the simulation and right now you want to see what's the, for example, a well bottom hole pressure for different wells and what is the, for example, oil recovery factor or field oil production rate or any output that you want to see later uh, when you are going to analyze the results, you need to include that in the summary section of your data file. And Whatever you are writing in the summary section of the data file, you will see that in the with Office. So with Eclipse Office, you can see all these uh, terms in the Office section, Office of the Eclipse, and you can all see the result of the, your simulation. So the only thing uh, we have a couple uh, terms, a uh, couple of keywords that you need to. It's better to include in your uh, summary section. First one is a field FOPT, so it means that field oil production total. So it's the total production oil production that you are going expecting to get from the reservoir. So if you write the FOPT keyword in your data file, you are going to see that. FOPR, it means that field oil production rate. So this keyword is reporting the production rate. And as you can see here, FOPR, if you write FOPR in your data file without any slash or any, any extra parameter, so you, are, you can see the field oil production rate in your data, in your results. Another important thing is, is uh, FOE. FOE is reporting the field oil uh, efficiency. For example, if you are going doing the uh, simulation for a, for a core flooding and you want to see what's the recovery factor of your core flooding, you can include FOE in, uh, in your data file and the data file will report you the recovery factor. And again, it doesn't have any slash or anything like that. The only uh, important things here in the summary section is that anything that started with F, it means that for the field, you don't need uh, to have any slash on that, so just write the keyword. But anything that is starting from W, it means that it's belong to the well, and it, it is going to finish with a slash, okay? For example, here we have WBHP, so it means that verbal, uh, verbal pressure, okay? So it's a, it's a well pressure for the, uh, it's a pressure for each well. So you need to write WBHP and it's going to finish with a slash, okay? So in terms that you have many uh, or many, many wells, for example, you have well number one, well number two, and well number three, and you want to see the bottom hole pressure for those wells, in that case, you need to write the name of the well as well. For example, uh, here you can write uh, well number one, uh, well number two and well number three so in this case uh, we can see the bottom hole pressure for well number one well number two and well number three and it's got, because it's starting with w it's belong to the well so it needs to finish with the slash so here in in this data file, you can see the different uh, keywords and uh, different and the meaning of each keyword. So you can complete the summary section of your data file using these uh, keywords. Just remember that the only thing that's important here is that anything that starts with W should finish with a slash, but anything that starts with F, which is a field, so you don't need to have any a slash or anything like that to complete the data file.